Hello everyone, it's Tom the Taxi Driver and I'm going to do something a little bit different in uh, today's video. So of course I'm here at my, uh, at my uh, desktop here um, just trying out some new GoPro setup and stuff um, but also what I do is I want to play this game called GeoGuessr. Uh, I've literally just come across this, I saw someone on YouTube playing it, I'm heavily addicted to YouTube, I absolutely love YouTube and someone's playing this game up here, uh, GeoGuessr. And the idea of it is, is it dumps you in a random location. You can do it in the world, um, or you can set a parameter of where it is, um, say a country or whatever. And you then have to use sort of your detective work to find out exactly where it is you are. And then you have to then appropriately try and pin it as accurately as possible uh, on the map. So I'm having a go at this. I'm not sponsored by a GeoGuessr. They've not given me any money to do this. I literally wanted to do this in my own inquisitive knowledge. Uh, for London. Now when normal people play this game what they do is they'll, they'll click in somewhere so yeah they'll go to a famous place they can drag around a bit to try and work out where they are. What I'm going to try and do is going to drop me in five different locations in London and I'm going to be able to identify exactly where that place is ideally with a minimum amount of clicking and then I'll be able to pin it on the map and uh, obviously I'll be able to tell you guys the rationale once I get there. So let's have a little look. London uh, GeoGuessr. So let's move me out of the way over here somewhere. Um, and yeah, basically you can get a maximum of 5,000 points uh, per each drop that you put into. Um, it's If you get the exact pin uh, directly on there, then you get 5,000 points. Five, five goes, 25,000 points. So some pretty good people here. I don't think there's really a time limit as such on it, but I really want to do to challenge my shirt self and just sort of see how good my knowledge is of the streets of London, which as a London cabbie should be pretty damn impeccable. So let's give this a go. Play, single player. Start game. Where's it going to drop us? Where's it going to drop us? Right, bang. Uh, straight away, where the hell are we? Might have to move a little bit. I ain't going to spin it. That looks awfully familiar. There's a cycle quiet way. I was going to say it's probably the Bloomsbury era. No, but that's a, uh, an SE1. Uh, that's like a South London. That's like Union Street, Southwark Bridge Roadway. Definitely, um, but that's yeah, like a, uh, a, a South London Borough of Southwark. I am going to spin that. Now, that's the corner of Southwark Bridge Road. Sorry, not Southwark Bridge Road. Uh, Newton and Causeway, uh, Borough High Street. And then this is then going to be, uh, I can't think of the name of the street adjacent to it. But let's give this a go. I'm going to open it up the map here, zoom in to where I believe it to be. And like I said, I've not even spun that. So it's going to be a little bit further lower than, it's not Blackfriars, yeah, Suburb Bridge Road, Union Street. Um, not that bit though, because that's the one way. I think it's almost like, not quite Marshley Road, not Lance Street, Great Suffolk Street. Pretty certain that's Great Suffolk Street, you're looking over to there. So I'm going to pin here, let's see what we get. Am I taking that as my guess? Oh, opposite side of the street. Ah! You can see what I was thinking though, so that's pretty cool, yeah? Great Suffolk Street, Trinity Street. Uh, that's where I put my pin, um, 48 metres. Not bad, not bad, but yes, yeah, so that's pretty quick. Could have, been, could have been dumped anywhere in London, by the way. Let's go for another round. Oh, here we go. Uh, da, 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 da. That looks like, sorry, I've got my web camera right in front of me. Uh, da, 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 da. That is like, it's a one-way street. Let me put this webcam in right in front of me so I can't actually see the damn. It looks like W1, that sort of paving. That's like a Westminster, I'd say. Um, and there's a French flag down there, but then that's... It's Great Portland, these sort of street area way. I'm going to have to spin it. I think I'm going to have to spin it. It's not enough for me to go on there. But then again, my preview is out of the way. Oh, there we go. Bowls over street. I thought that was bowls over street as soon as I dropped in there. Is that bowls over? No, no, sorry. It's, it's in the um, it's in the city, Bouverie Street. Oh, what a balls up in the city. So, yep, yeah, Bouverie Street. Uh, let's go get that. Let's go tag that. We'll get as close as we can. Uh, Bouverie Street. Um, obviously off of uh, Fleet Street. Yeah, it's, it's, of course it's the city, tiny little uh, bits. Now, what end are we? That's the end that's coming out onto um, Tudor Street. Yeah, down at the bottom of Tudor Street. It doesn't look like Fleet Street up there, but I suppose that is one of those printing uh, publishing places. So that's going to be down here somewhere, right on the corner there, I guess. 
yeah, close enough. That gets us 5,000 points. Not bad, but a bit of the balls out there. Clearly was. <laughs> Let's see. I'll say we can give that one out of five so far. All right. I still like ahead on the map, though, so that's that's the important bit. This is another city one. Is it the city again? I don't really want to spin it. I think I'm going to have to, though. Um... Copy the city. Let's spin. Yeah, that's definitely the city. And that is uh, King's Arms. Uh, King's Head Lane. That's the cut through from Moorgate, I believe. No, it's too too small to do it. Oh, that's the... Um, I've been in that hall. It's a livery hall. Oh, I've got to even think of the name of it. This is... Oh, around the back of Bear Trumpshire. I'll find it. If I get it on the map, I better do it. Um, but let's zoom in there. I've been in that livery hall. I went in there on... Um, the um, uh, Lord Mayor's Lord Mayor's show, Lord Mayor's parade, off of the back of it's off of Cheapside, Gutter Lane. There we go, Gutter Lane, right on that corner there. Whatever that livery hall is, Saddlers. There you go, and it's taken from Goldsmith Street. Bang, number five thousand. So yeah, eleven meters from the correct location. Yeah, there we go. Cool. Next round. What have we got now? Ooh, hoo, hoo, that is Chucks. Uh, da, 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 da. Let me double check this though. Why is that? Why does it look so different on the map? These are all like, you know, um, your Knightsbridge sort of area, this sort of buildings. Um, but I can't, for the life of me, pull chucks. Someone's going to be shouting it out in the comments. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Let me spin this. Yeah, it's, it's Brompton, isn't it? Hands Road, Herbert Crescent. Yeah. <laughs> um, side door of Harrods, isn't it? Uh, of course. Side door of Harrods. Let's drag us over there. Knight's Bridge. You can tell by the Knight's Bridge kind of buildings. Hands Road. Uh, let's get us in there. Right about there. 5,000 points, 8 metres away. Whew, should have been able to pull that. I had that as a point actually on um, when I was on the knowledge. Um, from the, there's, there's a restaurant there, but yeah, that was that came up to me um, on the knowledge. Another one, number five, number five. Oh, this is, there's a taxi rank there. That building looks kind of modernish though. Permit holders, the restrictions, eight till nine. Ah, oh, but then the pub is throwing it up. Where is that building? Yeah, I know where that is. That's right opposite the Holiday Inn. Uh, this is Coram Street. Coram Street, right opposite the Holiday Inn Express. Let's zoom into there, find it. It's called Coram Street because actually, if you drove straight through uh, the where am I? London, obviously, if you drove straight through the Brunswick Centre, you'd actually then hit into what would have been or what is the uh, um, the hospital, founding hospital, founded by Captain Thomas Coram. Uh, so that's taken about there. Marcus of Cornwallis, another point I had. There we go, five thousand points. Boom. Do my summary. What do we get? Professional. E. Continue. I think we do that again. Should we go for that again? I quite like that. Oh, I didn't even get the full 25,000. I feel awful. Play the same map again. Let's try this again. One more time. Just you guys. This is one of the great advantages of the knowledge when you get this. When you, when you see London on a daily basis, you know, it is a strong skill to have, definitely. Let's start again. Start the game. Cool. Oh, this giving it away. It's Green Street. Um, so this is then going to be uh, Red Red Place, uh, Green Street. Cause this is the little tiny one-way bit joining from the top of... That's North Row up there, and we're on Green Street now. So Park Lane is to the left of this photo. Park Lane's over here, and then uh, North Audley Street's over there. So that's quite a quick one, but obviously the... Um, oh, could you imagine if I got that in one? <laughs> no, I've got to zoom in, obviously. Red Place. Um, red Place, let's zoom in. Yeah, right on the corner there. Should I get it really close? There. OK, 
guess. Hey. Oh, it's Dan Raven. Oh, no. Oh, but I didn't spin it. You know, that was just going on the guess of where I was. So, oh, well. Oh, well. Dan Raven's what links the hotel down to that, that, that bottom bit. Okay, where are we here? Uh, that is... Yeah, it looks kind of Burlington Gardens-ish. It's, quite, it's definitely Mayfair, um, Westminster. I don't want to quite spin it yet, though. Now, that is... Oh, um, that's the exit of Savile Row uh, onto Regent Street. That's Regent Street. Uh, over there where these vans are. So that's Regent Street northbound. Um, not Burlington Gardens, is it Old Burlington Street? Oh, I can't remember the name off the top of my head. Uh, there's a restaurant there, but that comes off of, that joins Savile Row to Regent Street. So if we put in there. I suppose this is kind of a great game for, for knowledge students. I, I don't get how I didn't even come across this uh, when I was on the knowledge. This street, New Burlington Street, there we go. Outside there, the Akari. There we go. Guess that. Boom, right on it, 5,000. Another round. <clears throat> right, this is definitely the city. That clock. Ooh, the Itsu, though. Shit. I went past the clock very similar to that the other day. This almost, this gated bit on the back here almost looks like St. Dunstan's in the east. Um, St. Dunstan's in the east. It's very close, actually. It's that hill that falls off of uh, Great Tower Street. This is Great Tower Street, I believe, up here. Um, and this is then the big tall building near the start of Pudding Lane, I, I think. If I spin it, it's going to give it away. Um, or should I just make my guess? Let's give it a spin, just to make sure I'm on the right track here. Oh, it's not giving away much, actually. In that case, it could be near Bouverie Street where we started. Hmm. Hmm. Now, that is a tricky dicky. It's a really tight street. But there's a church around the back there. I tell you, that almost looks like Fleet Street, and this looks like the back of St. Bride's. Is it Fleet Street or is it Cannon? <laughs> I'm just zooming on the church there. This is me uh, being a bit too bit too nosy. Oh, that's really annoying. Or is it Ludgate Hill? Could be Ludgate Hill. I'm not going to know until I pop out of there. That is a tough one, actually. Um, there's going to be many people in the comments shouting at that. I'm going to guess more Ludgate Hill, because that's what I'm thinking that Itsu could be. No, actually, that's Cannon Street. I went past that Itsu the other day. That's Cannon Street, and this is the south side of it. I can't pull the, the road name for love nor money, but that's Cannon Street. Not Bush Lane. It's the this part here, right there near the monument. That's got to be. That looks like it. One of these, like Suffolk Lane or something like that. The Bell Pub was not there. Could be this one. Could be any of these ones, I suppose. Martin Lane. Yes, because that's where the, the Itsu was. I went past it yesterday. I saw it all the day before. Let's go there. Let's give that a guess. Ha <laughs> ha, touch. There we go. Bit of deductive work. It's not giving me the full points. I'm not exactly where the camera was, but you get the idea. That's a bit of a tough one, that. Uh, okay, for a uh, fourth for the fifth. Let's not spin this round too quickly. Ooh, this is tough. It's a 20 mile an hour borough. Could it be Islington? Could it be Islington? It's not Westminster, I don't know. It's a bit too sort of modern. -y. I'm going to have to spin this because it's impossible. Do I want to go left or right, though? What's that tower block? Does that give me anything? Billboard there. That, I'm looking towards Grazing Road now. That's Grazing Road. That is, this little bit here, is the side of the, oh, I can't think of the um, the centre, but yeah, Grazing Road. I can't tell you what the street is because it's, it's a cul-de-sac and you don't really need to do those in the knowledge because, we well, they do, I suppose, but um, as I don't drive them on a, uh, a regular basis, 
and uh, let's get us over to Gray's Inn Road. Up there, not north of the street, more north of that, right opposite the uh, Calfort Project, that's it. So we're going to be in about there, I'd say. Um, Regent Square, yeah, I'm going to say there. <laughs> Touch, Heathcote Street. Got it. I can just tell by that billboard right there next to the Eastman Dental Hospital. Next round, come on, last one. Can we get a full house on this one? Ah, oh, it's giving me the same one again. Oh, come on. I already know that's Bouverie Street. Ah, oh, that's annoying. Well, we might as well go for four points. Let's see where that comes out. Let's get us back there. Fleet Street, Bouverie Street. Right down the bottom. Bang. Yes. That's it. So thank you very much for watching, guys. This is me doing GeoGuessr. If anyone wants me to do any more of these, I've really enjoyed that. That was quite fun, actually. Um, take care, and I'll, uh, I'll see you all again soon. Bye-bye.